All right, so what I've done in the back here, take the back off. Um, I have loosened these, so you can see the gap there. I've untightened them. I then loosened these screws in the front, and then I would pull the belt a tiny bit and then tighten these so that it locks at the loosest position. You can see by these belts, they're really loose. Did the same on the other side. This one, I had to add two washers. Two washers right there. Um, and then I'm going to take the back off of that. These ones are not genuine Gates belts. There's nowhere I can really see on here. I've taken pictures of them right now. There's nowhere I've really seen their Gates belts, but these replacement ones are. Turn it around here. You see Gates right there. No, this is not on the original. There's none of that writing on here, so I don't think these are originals, but I'll get back when I take that back off. All right. Took the old hot end out. As you can see, that's why it was replaced. That thing is... Let me see if I can get a better view. Yeah, I don't know if that's jacketing or bare wire, um, but that doesn't look nice. Probably gonna salvage the hot end because it's still got a hardened steel nozzle on it. But uh, took off main board and the extruder to get all of this off. It's basically stripped down. I left the um, the sensor down there because I don't feel like taking that off. Um, I had to use here's it at. Here it is. Had to use flush cutters to cut the zip tie into pieces because they just, they put it way too tight. Like this one, you can't move that at all. I, I just unplugged it from the board, took the main board out, and now it exposes these here. So you see the ends of them there. So what I'm gonna probably try and do is because if you look at the online CAD files, let me move this forward. There's a curve right here. When I take these off, this screw here, I take this screw off, there's a curve that is almost impossible to realistically do. So I'm trying to glue them before I take off these. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna try and see how that goes. All right, so I pulled the old belt out. Uh, it was glued on the back side, I think, or something like that. Um, I tried gluing the new belt to the old belt. Didn't work out too well. Um, it just didn't stick at all. So what I'm doing now is I got a twisty and I bent it at the same angle as this. If you don't have a twisty, um, buy anything, I guess. You could probably use the zip ties that they, that they provided. Um, I go, go buy some bread or something, I don't know. Twisty and just bent it in the same shape and pulled it around. So in the CAD file, this line on the side goes all the way through. Like it should be, if my camera could fit through there, it should be a clear shot all the way through if this motor wasn't there. Um, and I'm basically gonna try and duct tape, duct tape the new belt to this, pull it through match it with this belt duct tape it to this it's i'm doing this way too complicated i don't care duct tape it to this one and then pull all the way through the system so we'll see how that goes all right so i um couldn't fit anything through uh because it sucks so i took the front plate off um there's a motor there and those are the bushings so i'm gonna try and not disturb it i'm pretty sure they lock into center channel i'm just not gonna mess with that because i don't want to and it seems like a really really bad idea if i do so um i'm gonna move the motor goes through oh my god oh my god okay it's fine it's fine it's fine but yeah i'm gonna just other side pull the belt through it's gonna be the easiest way just to sell a lot stop doing workarounds all right um, so I'm pushing this belt through. So it was like this last time with the things facing me. 
and the flat side on the back on this end. So I just pushed it through and I'm going to pull it around this side. I'm just going to line it up and try not to do that as much as possible. I'm going to try and either duct tape, super glue, or all the above this so that when it goes around all of this, I'm not losing my mind. Um, this is probably the easy part to put back together. This is really still scary. Like just the fact that it's held on by nothing, but, um, I'm going to try and duct tape, super glue the whole nine yards, everything and pull it around. And, um, when I inevitably break something, I'll record it. All right. Duct tape wins. Super glue sucks. I am, I have these two super glued together. I honestly have no idea how I'm gonna unsuper glue them because it has been a few minutes, but here's the super glue joint. That looks like it's about to break. So I better do this. I'm just pulling it through gently, not like rushing it through. What am I pulling? What am I pulling? Oh, I am pulling it right through. Yeah, I'm, I left this one plugged. I'm just slowly and gently pulling through. I oh, should. Gently pulling through because if this comes off, I'm boned. I have to be real gentle with this if this comes off. I have so much slack in this joint, it's not even funny. Okay. It has been looped all the way through as of now. Here's my end joint here. Um, yeah, I'm really just gonna try not to, I'm gonna do this, I gotta close up this side first since this is pulled all the way through. I know my joint is right here, I'm gonna leave it there. I need to tighten up this side first with this tightener. They also gave me a new set of fasteners, but I think it's fine to use the same ones. I don't know. I'll check. I'll probably say if not. This has been a big disassembly of the hot end. Um, at least now. Oh my god, those bearings are off. Okay. That's it. I think there's alignment keys there, so that'll go back on, hopefully. <laughs> but if not, um, oh well. I science i guess but yeah just just take it apart it's gonna be the easiest way um only do one at a time don't do all of them you're gonna screw something up probably um i guess i have to make sure these are aligned at some point i don't know how i'm gonna do that but i will um yeah i'll get back to it all right i have switched sides now so this side is super glued down and bolt tightened. Um, honestly, probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, as you can see, there's a tiny, let me line it up like this, there's a tiny bit less over here than there is here. And that's a kind of an issue because this side, I don't know if it's gonna get enough grip now or not. Um, yeah, I probably should have not super glued this side down and just tightened it down instead. <sighs> I'm gonna go back on my word. I'm gonna untighten this, pull the super glue out, tighten it as needed, and then pull this side in more. So we'll see. All right, so with a bit of super glue, some super glue on my fingers, all over the place. Um, I have replaced one belt so far. Now, it's still pretty loose, but it's as tight as I can get it. I'll probably tighten it later with the belt tensioners. So, what I did was I unscrewed this side. And so, there are grooves. There's one right here. This is the one that I th didn't want to use because it has stuff on it. Let me point five this. So, there's stuff on this side I want to use it. But you'll see these. God, I can't move. There's lube, grease, and super glue. My fingers all at once. There's these little grooves here. These perfectly line up with the belts. Also, here's here's my uh, destroyed belt. These grooves perfectly align 
Sorry, I'm doing this two-handed. That's a mess. They perfectly align with the belt teeth right there. You'll see that. So what I did was they were both loose, so I pulled enough slack into this one, lined it up with some teeth, and now you can still see it's there, so it still has a good enough grip. Okay, I was wondering what that was. That's super glue on there. So it's still tension enough here, tightened down to that. So then there was enough space over here to pull enough through. Now it's probably too far, but it's it, it evens out. These are belts from Chi. I'll give you the measurements in some images below or on screen. Um, it let me pull enough, super glued the back plate, so the actual plastic piece right here on the back side, pulled the belt, super glued my finger to it as well, but got it enough through so that it stayed on. And then um, after 60 seconds, took my finger off, it was tight and stuck on there, so then I put this back on. Now to do the bottom belt. So I'm putting it back together now. Um, I got the motor screwed in. Um, I basically did the same thing on the left side. I took off the right side first, fed the belt through all the way around the loop. I uh, super glued the old belt to the new belt first. Um, damn, these motherfuckers need to shut up. Hold on. There we go. Um, fed the belt glued the belt to the other belt, fed it all the way through the system. I still need to verify that they're level. I have no idea because my tensioner is still, you know. Um, so I just fed it through the whole system very lightly, especially around that area where there's like three different turns. Um, fed it through, then on the right side here, yeah, this sucks. There's not as much visible as there is on this side because I locked it into place with the teeth like I showed earlier um kept it in place there and then over this side I just pulled as hard as I could as much as I could then locked it in place after the super glue set after 60 seconds um, so that's the belt replacement I'm pretty sure these are still decently loose obviously still need belt tensioner um but yeah, that's, this is probably the worst instructional video because I showed absolutely nothing of it because it's just too much of hands-on to show it. Um, just take apart the front and the back. That's all I really have to say. There's screw there, screw there, and then those two black screws there, and this little clamshell off. Um, Make sure that the brass bearings in there are in line. They're, they lock into place into these upper pieces here. So it's pretty hard to mess it up. It won't close unless you lock them into place. Um, once they're locked in, you're good to go. Just start reassembling everything as is. Um, make sure you keep your screws organized. Mine are somewhat organized. Um, and yeah, just go from there, see how it goes. All right, so this is as I'm editing. Um, belts are on, working good. I did some test prints here. 
these two. This is in PETG because that's all I had laying around that I wanted to do. So they are still stiff, they do work. There's still an issue with this bottom one. Um, you're not gonna see it unless I move the head. I don't know if I'm doing that right now. When I move it all the way to the left, it's in the middle of that bearing right there. And when I move it to the right, it slowly moves down to the bottom. Now, from what I was told, that is uh, due to a loose belt. But I just replace these belts. Those tensioners are on as much as possible. Um, so let me do some measurements here. So if this one has a V on it, which means it was at a 45 degree angle. Um, so this one is X and Y. This is X. This is Y. So it was printed like this on the bed as if it was a typical core XY. Um, this one was printed at a 45 to match in line with the motors. This is how I tested before if the motors were tensioned equally. Or not the motors, the belts. Um, so I've done this test before and before it used to always be in line. Now, when I grab this here, should be a hundred millimeters. Now, shrinkage and all that. I just need them to match. 99.97, let's say. Yeah, 99.77. This side, bring it back out to a hundred. 99.9. So, there's something with one of the motors or one of the belts I don't know how to properly fix it. I don't know if the correct answer is, well, it's 99.7576, 99.9, that's what, 0.15 off? Jesus. Um, I don't know if the proper solution is to put that bushing block, I guess, or the tensioner block in on just the X, or if I should change the motor uh, steps per millimeter, I don't know. Um, they're both the same size belts, both equal. Um, so I don't know if that's what I should do. I'm kind of lost as I thought this would fix it, but I guess not.